Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. So we are here with Thomas and Dave. And they're showing down. It's the, they're throwing down, huh? Not showing down. In Moss Eisley. Dun, dun. <laughs> oh. It's Space Wolves versus Dirk Eldar. And uh, these are Space Wolves. They're up for sale right now and are currently for sale section. And the uh, Dark Eldar are a studio army that we actually sold. But we can always commission more if you're interested. So, What are you playing? What are you playing? I'm playing the Space Wolves. I know. Over there. But what are you playing? Gorgeous. Uh, well, show us, internet, show us your army. On the internet it would be a probably the variant on what's called the Logan's Wing, I guess. Um, so we got Logan Grimnar, which allows us to bring uh, the Wolf Guard as troops. Okay, so I got Storm Shield and, and the Space Wolf Light and Claw, which allows you to reroll the hit or reroll the wound. And then for every five guys that you have in a unit, you can have a uh, Cyclone Missile Launcher. So that's kind of fun. You bring, you bring units of five, five or six or so, and they can have... Uh, uh, cyclone as long as just give them a little bit of extra long range even though they, you know, most of them aren't even going to be able to shoot at range because they've got a storm shield and lightning claw. Um, I brought a uh, chaplain, that's what it is. It's the Space Wolf Chaplain. <laughs> so, and then I brought Bajoran the Fell Handed and I brought a Rune Priest and uh, I brought a, his one long thing squad he had, which has a variety of weapons, as you can see, which is kind of fun. Um, just and then just more terminators. What did you bring? Hey. I'm I'm playing the Dark Elder. Um, it's a Sliskus themed army because we have a Sliskus model, and I like playing with him. That's fun. Um, I have some witches to help with that. It's mostly um, I got three little units of warriors, because that's the models we have, and Venoms to ride them in. I have two units of Trueborn, one in a Venom, and one will be in this Raider with Sliscus. And then I have these uh, three razor, uh, let's see, what are those? razor wings, yeah, the anti-infantry uh, fighter, which is good since I'm playing an all-infantry army. And... Uh, a unit of scourges, and I'll t to finally get to the end of my points, I brought a borrowed unit of incubi. All for a mission. It's going to be a capture and control, so one objective each, and it's going to be on pitch, pitch battle. battle. Yay! All right. So the roll for first turn. I got a two. Ta -da! I did as well. I'm going to re-roll because I have Bajoran fell handed. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was a bad roll. Awesome. I guess I'll go first or second. Why you look? Why? You look? Okay. So <laughs> we're, the way we're gonna play it is, if any vehicles, since he has skimmers, land on stuff. This this stuff here that's counts as difficult, but the flat of the building is just regular. Because it is a. Flat so stand. Thomas is putting his objective in the building. Yeah, these buildings, the insides of these buildings are even built and painted, which is super cool. This terrain is amazing. You know, Thomas, even though he can't see it, he still knows it there. it's there. He's not going to forget it. <laughs> All right, so i got to make one comment about these guys who are, you know, I'm pretty fond of both of them, especially since I'm married to one. But uh, unlike Sean, both Thomas and Dave are tournament players. So it might be a little bit more aggressive than we're used to in BTP battle reports. So hopefully you like it. Razor wing, razor wing, Sliscus and Trueborn. What, what's a razor wing? It's a jet <laughs> fighter that shoots guys full of holes. Oh, this is going to be funny. I got nothing. Any second now. I got nothing. Any second. <laughs> you got to just keep, keep filming. Keep filming. We'll, we'll, we'll give you something, I promise. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so Thomas is putting all of his guys in the building. Old and regal, and has earned the right to lay in the bushes and shoot people from afar. 
going to try and seize the initiative here. So here's my seize the initiative roll. Let's see if uh, Sean's dice like these arms. Oh, Where'd it go? Three. It's a three. It's over here. Oh. All right. Dave's turn. So Thomas is deployed, but all of his men are hiding. No, no. Strategically holding objectives. That's right. That's right. Strategically holding objectives. Um. Thank drugs. Can you over there? It is. Combat drugs for my army. And roll two because uh, Sliskus lets me pick. Oh, let's see. Uh, pain token or. I think five is plus one attack. Let me double check. So Dave's got these awesome custom dice that you can order from Chessix. And his sixes have this cool symbol on them. Just so you're, if you're curious and you're like, that's not a six, that's a one. Nope, it's a six. It's just a cool six. It's, it's because I should feel happy when I see my symbol, not depressed. And usually a roll of a one is bad. And it would make me start hating my symbol so I couldn't even paint it on my army anymore. <laughs> if I kept rolling it and being upset every time I saw it. It would be depressed. So sixes are better. Okay, so Dave's just finished his turn one movement phase. Okay. What did you do? Quick recap. Uh, these guys that were here disembarked on my objective, and this flew up here alone, passed my dangerous terrain test since we said flying on this stuff was difficult. This guy stayed where he was, just pivoted a little bit. Duke Sliskus and his unit of Trueborn are hiding right here. Um, the scourges are all right here. This came from down here up there. This guy moved over there. This thing moved forward a little bit. Um, they hopped up on that. This thing is actually perched right here, but it'll fall over, so we set it down, but it's landed right here. Also passed the dangerous terrain test. And then this little unit of witches and this unit of trueborn both went super fast and are coming up this flank. Cool. So some shooting phase. Nonsense. Let's start with this guy here. Oh, and the incubi, who I already forgot about, flew over here. <laughs> so this guy, who's perched right here, is going to shoot at your long fangs, I can see. I have range, that's my furthest gun, so I'm going to shoot him with three, or uh, I have two disintegrators getting three shots each, and a splinter cannon. So the red ones will be the disintegrators, and the white ones will be my splinter cannon. That one's cocked. So we need threes to hit. We need fours with our splinter cannon since it's poisoned, and we need threes with our disintegrator. And the disintegrator is AP2, so you'll need cover saves for those. Grossness. So three cover saves and one armor save. Three cover, one armor. Okay. All right. I'm going to take one on the wolf uh, wolf guard guy I have. He'll take a, a cover save. So he's okay on a four. Then I'm going to take one on the... You have night shields on your stuff? Mm-hmm. One on the multi-melta. He died. Uh, one on the... What else is in there? A heavy bolter. Ooh, yeah, maybe the heavy bolter. The bolter died also, and then we'll take one on my rune priest, who is going to take a wound. Great. Okay. That was some fantastic roll. Yeah, well, what can I say? Okay. I'm going to shoot my dark lance off of my raider here into your land raider. raider. You're getting cover. Check my range. Need a three to hit. <laughs> you missed. The only lance shot I have this turn. This venom's gonna shoot at your long fangs because they're still there. Okay. So we have range. range. We have two splinter cannons because for a measly ten points, the option to upgrade and turn six shots into twelve is a must-have. Pretty gross. With, uh, with the uh, night shields I added to it, 75 points for a super anti-infantry anti gun platform. 
pretty good. So threes to hit. We missed twice out of ten shots. Ridiculous. Out of twelve shots. Ridiculous. Ten hits out of twelve shots. I'll take that. And not too terrible. One, six. two, three, four, five, six wounds. Five guys there. So it's gonna lap. So here's the last cannon. He's good. The rocket launcher. He's good. The uh, wolf guard. The, did we give him two up armor or no? Nope. Okay, wolf guard died. And the rune priest is fine. And then we'll take two on the sergeant. He's good. Okay. Next, next venom. This is gonna, this is gonna get gross really quick. These things Thanks. are just gonna shoot those guys to death. Same thing. All right, missed that, a few more times. That one was uh, not as awesome of a roll. So those four missed, missed, and missed. A lot more misses. So only six out of twelve this time. That's way better for me. Still four wounds. Still four wounds. Okay, uh, one apiece again, here we go. So Rune Priest is okay. The Sergeant is okay. Malta, or Melta, sorry, Lazcan, whatever. And the Rocket Launcher, the Rocket Launcher died. That's no bueno. Okay, then I have this guy who moved over there to shoot him as well. Same thing, he's got range as well. So, two, four, six, two, four, six. So now, is it one of the, the one of the nice things about them that they can still move 12 and shoot all their weapons? Yep. Okay. And if so. they need to, they can go flat out 36 inches. Yeah. Which, even though they can't hold objectives, it's really nasty to contest. Also, they're only one of two things in the army that's not open top. So. Um, once again, the red ones will be the disintegrators. Okay, red ones are disintegrators. One, two, Disintegrator Mist, and one, two, Splinter Cannon Mist. Ugh, terrible with the Disintegrators. All, all ones and twos. Yeah, all right. You made up for it though with Splinter Cannons, you still take four ones. Okay, uh, one on the last cannon. He dies, great. Uh, one on the Rune Priest. He's okay, and two on the sergeant. <laughs> the sergeant's still alive, but there's no heavy weapons left. <laughs> All right. uh, that's awesome. Just because you've still got a rune priest in there that we can see, I'm gonna fire this venom at him as well. Oh, gross. <laughs> one Oof. missed. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Well, hey, this, you know what? I haven't failed the Terminator save yet, so... True, not yet. No, the Rune Priest took a wound. Well, it wasn't from Terminator armor, because he didn't get to take his Terminator armor. I don't count that, clearly. So, six wounds? Six wounds again. Alright, can the Rune Priest do it? Well, is it simultaneous shooting, so I take some on the yeah. guy, Sergeant, too? Alright, yeah. here we go. Sergeant, three sergeants taking three of them. Sergeant finally bit the dust, and Rune Priest also bit the dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! This is not going well for the Space Wolves, and it's not their fault. My terrible dice rolling. All right. <laughs> Should have done it the other way around. I'm gonna fire this one first because while I'm still here, I'm gonna fire all of his monocyte missiles. Okay. So he's got four monocyte missiles. Fire those. I mean, you have a scatter die? Yeah, I got a scatter die. We'll use that. So he's going to fire everything. All four monocyte missiles, plus his disintegrators, plus his splinter cannon, into this unit of natives. So we'll place the monocyte like that. Okay. So the first one is going to go like four inches. Off. It's gonna get one guy. One guy? Okay. One guy. 
Okay, so our second shot, we place it in the same place. Okay. Right there. That one hits. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, all five. Okay. Okay, our third shot. Same place. That's gonna go one inch. One inch. Still gonna get me four. four. We got a total of ten now. And the final shot. Ugh, it's gonna go five. So one guy. One more. So eleven guys from the monocyte missiles. Eleven guys from the monocyte missiles. Strength six, so two's a wound. So ten wounds. Ten wounds. So two apiece. Plus all of the oh, other yeah. fire. Everything else is gonna fire them too. Yeah. And then splinter cannon and two disintegrators. Same thing as before, the red ones are disintegrators, which is terrible because they're the ones that missed the most. Yay! Less AP2 shots coming at us. Hurrah! So, two more cover saves and one more armor save. Okay. So a total of 11 ele armor saves. 11 armor saves and two cover saves. And two cover. Total of uh, okay. 13 wounds. 13 wounds. So everybody's going to take two, and then we're going to have three overlaps, which we'll throw onto the uh, lightning claw guys, of course. So here's the two for the, and this is going to be regular armor saves for the uh, Typhoon guy. Or not Typhoon, the, he's okay. The Cyclone missile launcher. Gotcha. And then I've got 11 more that are going to go on the other guys, and two of them I need to take as uh, cover. So we'll take nine real quick here, the regular armor save. And I lost two. And then two that are uh, they're, uh, three up in bone save. So another one. So three died. Okay. And just to try and finish off that unit, I'm going to shoot this venom into him. Okay. Missed, 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 missed. Lots of misses that time. Five hits. Looking for fours. Two, Two wounds is all. One apiece. So here's the uh, regular guy. He's okay on a two, and the other guy, okay on a two. Okay. All right. I'm going to wrap up my shooting phase with a run move for my scourges. Okay. It's a six. Cool. Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> All right. Cool. So that's a nice way to wrap up what was a fairly... Yucky. ...effective and <laughs> fantastic shooting phase. And that will be my turn one, right? And your turn one. Okay. Real quick, i got to make a morale check for these guys here. They're okay on an eight. Okay, real quick movement recap for my turn one. I moved the land raider over here. We got a four inch gap there. Just I'm ignoring the sponsons for the sake of the gameplay here. We're going to see if I mobilize myself because I had to go over some of this terrain here. So. <laughs> oh, I do. Okay. Well. Alright. So I'm immobilized. That was great. Um, I also uh, moved these guys over here and these guys here on the edge here. We're going to try and maybe someday make up there. We'll see. And then my guys that are in the building there, including Bajorn, have kind of just... Uh, oh, I forgot about Bajorn. They've just kind of moved around in here a little bit. So, so we're going to go to my shooting phase. I'm going to hand the camera over to Dave. Okay, so we'll start with a couple of cy a cyclone missile launcher into your uh, bomber there. Okay. So the three's the hit. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And the other one's gonna shoot at it as well. He hits once, and your armor eleven, right? Ten. Ten. So two. So I pin you. Hold and up. And I. It's a two. Is it cocked or no? It's cocked. Okay, we roll again. So again. Explode. I'll explode, except that I have a flicker field. Flicker so. field. All right. Five up flicker field save. I'm gonna make it. Too. That's gonna be gross. I don't believe. <laughs> <You actually made it. laughs> 
This game is gonna go so bad. Flickerfield, ten points, super well spent. If you play Dark Eldar and you don't use Flickerfields, I don't know. This, this one third cyclone. chance to not get blown up. On the on the guy up there, straight ahead of us. Okay. I hit once, and I bounced off. That's amazing. Sorry, I'm not as good at zooming in on your. Oh I'm trying goodness. to. I'm trying to preserve everybody from actually seeing your terrible dice rolls. It's okay. It's all right. We're gonna try a plasma cannon on the middle of it with Bajorn. Okay. Or Did you... your land raider die? No, it's well, it's, but it's it stuck. itself. It's yeah. Things are going golden. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Bajorn in there in that window. It's hard to see him. He's 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 trying to take it, make sure he has a cover save from all the hideousness. The fact that only him. only a fraction of his gun is sticking out would I would say guarantee his cover save. <laughs> You're gonna drop this on the, this thing? Yeah, here's his plasma gun. Wow. <laughs> well, with even a, with his ballistic skill, with a five. arrow like that and. That he's gonna hit nothing. right about here where there's nothing. <laughs> this is going comically bad. It is comically bad. I'll pop smoke on that. Okay. And then it's gonna be uh, your turn. Silly. Holy cow. All right. You know, his turns are taking a lot last time. So that was my turn one. It's uh, turn two for the Dark Eldar. We'll come back after he moves. 